Hi, this is Hilal. In this video on Mathematical Economics series, we will solve a problem that was asked by a brother Arun Divedi on a YouTube channel. Uh, the question is like this. Uh, given the demand function for two goods, we are being given the demand function for two goods like this. Px, that is price of good x, is given is equal to 320 minus 4x plus 2y, where x and y are the two goods. And uh, price of y is given as 106 plus 2x minus 20y. And also we are being given the total cost is given as 4 times uh, x into y plus 40x plus 26y. Okay. Uh, the question asks us to write down the equation for overall total revenue. We have to find the equation for aggregate revenue. Okay. Second part tells us find the value of uh, price of x, quantity of x, price of y, quantity of y for which profit is maximized. So we have to find the profit maximized profit maximizing uh, level of output and price okay also we were we are being told to calculate the maximum profit okay when evaluated at the equilibrium conditions also we have to calculate the revenue when profit is maximized okay so let's try to solve this out okay so uh, before i solve this i uh, have a humble request for you people please share this channel with your econ friends that is only motivation for me to make more useful stuff for you people okay and also like like and comment so coming to the question we have the demand function is given as price of x is given as like this px is equal to 320 minus 4x plus 2y okay this is the inverse demand function for uh, good x similarly uh, inverse demand function for good y is being given like this that is 106 uh, plus 2x minus 20y okay and also we are being given the total cost now since we have to find the total revenue function so we know that total revenue is simply equal to price of good x okay into units of x plus price of good y into units of good y okay price into quantity gives us the total revenue so we have the aggregate uh, revenue of both the goods here okay now uh, let's try to see what is our price of x is being given here by the equation that is 320 minus 4x uh, plus 2y and to this we have to multiply x okay plus so i will write here to save the space and we have price of y is uh, given as 106 plus 2x minus 20y and to this we have to multiply y because price into quantity gives us total revenue okay so let me write it uh, like this here now if we solve this out uh, since this x is multiplied to each term so we can write 320x minus 4x into x is x square uh, plus uh, 2y into x so i can write xy okay and let me write uh, the other terms here to save the space uh, for that because this question will be lengthy one okay so similarly this y is uh, multiplied to each term so we have 106 y uh, plus uh, 2xy minus 20 y into y is y square okay so this is our total revenue function okay now what is uh, this is uh, the equation for total revenue and if we uh, just uh, rearrange this here we can uh, write it like this mm, we have uh, 320 uh, x let us see if we have some like terms here so 2xy we have here also we have 2xy so i can write uh, first i will write minus 4x square then I will write uh, 4xy because we have two uh, like terms, okay, minus 20y square. So this is our total revenue function oh, and this is the uh, solution to the first part, okay. Now uh, the question tells us uh, find the value of uh, px, x, py, y for which profit is maximized. So what we uh, need to do is to find the profit function first okay and we know profit is simply equal to profit is equal to 
total revenue minus total cost okay now what is our total revenue total revenue function is uh, this function so uh, we can uh, did I uh, skip here something I guess so so we have 106 106 uh, I forgot to write it here so we have 2x um, plus 2x is 4 actually it is uh, minus 4x here then we have 4xy so I forgot to write this very term so we have 106y then we have 20y square okay so this is our total revenue function and we can write it uh, so profit is equal to total revenue minus total cost so I can write here 320x minus 4x square uh, 4x square then we have 4xy so let me write here 4xy then we have 106y minus 20y square and to this we have to subtract the total cost okay and we have to subtract uh, this very thing uh, total cost function is given us as a uh, 4xy uh, plus 40x plus 26y okay now let me write this profit function here again so uh, pi that is profit is equal to 320x minus 4x square uh, plus 4xy uh, plus 106y minus 20y square so this minus is uh, uh, for every term in the bracket so this becomes minus 4x so we have minus 4xy okay then we have minus 40x then we have minus 26y okay so what is our profit function then so let us see uh, if we have uh, like terms here so 320x minus 40x that comes out to be so that right 80 that means it is uh, 280 rather 280x okay let us see if we have any other like term here so first let me write this 4x square then we have 4x uh, plus 4xy minus 4xy since they are like terms and we can subtract them so 4xy minus 4xy will be 0 okay and then we have 106y okay if we subtract 26 so we have 106 26 is uh, done is the earth so this comes out to be 80 here okay so we have here plus 80 y and minus we have this 20 y square I hope I have uh, exhausted all the terms here so we have 280x uh, minus 4x square uh, plus 80y minus 20y square because these two terms get cancelled okay so this is our profit maximization uh, equation okay now what is the first order condition for profit maximization first order condition for profit maximization requires okay that the derivative of profit function so we will have two uh, profit maximizing conditions here because we have two products here so one will be the derivative of profit function with respect to x should be equal to zero that means partially differentiating our profit function with respect to x and setting it uh, setting it equal to zero okay so let's see if we can set it equal to zero and see the derivative of x the derivative of x is one so we are left with 280 minus here the derivative of x square will be 2x so 2x into 4 is 8x okay since uh, no x is involved in loss term so the derivative will be 0 and we set it equal to 0 similarly uh, uh, 
another profit uh, first order condition for profit maximization requires that our profit function the derivative of profit with respect to quantity y should be equal to zero that means we need to again differentiate this profit function with respect to y since no y is involved in the first term so the derivative will be obviously zero the derivative of y will be here one so we have 80 minus now derivative of y square is 2y so 2y into 20 is 40y so i have shown you in various videos how to differentiate it is very simple i'm just using the power function rule here so this is y and we set it equal to zero okay let us see uh, if we can solve it for x so if i transpose uh, minus 8x it will become plus 8x so that means 8x is equal to 280 which implies x is equal to 280 upon 8 so this is 8 uh, 8 3 is 24 25 26 27 8 28 so this becomes 48 5 is 40 so our optimal value of x will be 35 similarly uh, solving this very equation so if i transpose this will become 40 y is equal to 80 and which means y is equal to um 80 upon 40 so 41 are 42 are 80 so our optimal values of x and y we got here 35 and 2 okay now what we need to do uh, we need to check the second order condition also okay so a uh, second order condition for profit maximization required so let me write here also second order condition for profit maximization requires it requires that the derivative the second order direct partials the product of second order direct partials that means pi x x into pi y y you need not to worry about these very uh, uh, subscriptors it simply means we have to differentiate a uh, profit function uh, uh, again with respect to x this x denotes this okay and also we have to differentiate uh, the profit function again uh, with respect to y that means we need to take a second derivative of profit function okay the product of direct partials second order direct partials when evaluated at uh, the optimal values should be greater than uh, pi x y into pi y x and it is simply uh, the second derivative of this profit function with respect to y and this tells us second derivative of this profit function with respect to i uh, with respect to x okay so it should be greater than uh, this very thing this is the condition okay now uh, taking the second derivative means we again need to differentiate this very equation with respect to x okay so we are left with the derivative of constant is zero the derivative of x is one so second different uh, second derivative of this very equation gives us minus eight so in here we have minus eight into similarly taking a uh, second derivative again of this very function so we again need to take derivative with respect to y so since this is constant it is derivative is zero the derivative of y is one so we have minus 40 into one which comes out to be minus 40 okay it should be greater than uh, taking the derivative of this very function with respect to y since no y is involved in this equation so here it will be zero into now taking the derivative with respect to x in this equation since no x is involved so it is zero and obviously minus into minus is plus so this thing will be here so it is actually uh at zero 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 uh, at four zero 32 okay so minus minus plus obviously it is uh, greater than zero so second order condition for profit maximization is also satisfied here okay so let me rub this out to make the space for doing some mathematical stuff here okay so we have checked the second order condition 
now what we need to do uh, we need to find we need to find the maximum profit okay so what will be our maximum profit uh, rather we need to find the value of px and py okay so what will be the value of px simply px is equal to we just need to plug the value of x and y the optimal values of x and y in this equation to get the uh, equilibrium price that is 320 minus 4 the value of uh, x uh, is we have calculated this comes out to be 35 uh, then we have plus 2 the value of y is 2 and i have calculated as uh, this comes out to be so let me write here this is 320 minus 170 uh, plus 4 it comes out to be 184 that means equilibrium price will be for good x as p uh, sorry it is 184 here okay similarly uh, py equilibrium price for good y will be we just need to plug the value of x optimal values of x and y here to get the price for good y so we have 106 uh, plus 2 the value of x is 35 which we calculated here uh, then we have minus uh, 20 the value of y is 2 uh, rather the optimal value and when we evolve uh, evaluate this very thing uh, we will uh, get 136 okay so we got uh, px x py y that means the equilibrium quantities and price for which profit is maximized okay now we need to calculate the maximum profit now maximum profit profit is simply what is our profit equation we have so this is our profit equation just insert the value of x and y you will get so we have 280 the value of x is 35 so i will write here 35 and then we have minus uh, 4 into 35 square then we have 80 uh, into the value of y is 2 minus 20 the value of y square y square minus 2 square okay so let us see what this comes out to be 35 into 280 when solving this will come out to be 9800 minus 35 into 35 into 4 it will come out to be 4900 then we have 80 into 2 this comes out to be sheet sheet so we have 160 here then we have 2004 uh, 4 into 20 4 into 20 is yeah, it should be 80 here okay so i'm not sure about the calculation these two i have calculated earlier so this will come out to be uh, 4 9 8 0 okay so our maximum profit when evaluated at the equilibrium um, positions will be 4 9 8 0 okay now what will be our also we are being told to find the revenue when profit is maximized so revenue is simply what is our total revenue is equal to uh, price of x into x what is price of x let me see price of x is which we have calculated here that is 184 jala shana um, the value of x is 2 so i'm just concluding this the value of x is uh, 35 because as i am going here so let me uh, come out uh, with this then we have price of y price of y is uh, 136 uh, into the optimal value of x sorry it is here y so is 2 when we solve this will come out to be 6712 so 6712 is our uh, total revenue when maximize when evaluating it at the optimal point is i hope i make myself clear in this video if you like these videos please share and subscribe with your icon founders friends uh, that is only motivation for me keep going on